Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were in talks with a £1.3 billion backed US streaming giant a full year before they stepped down as senior royals. Sources claim talks went so well that Prince Harry even met with executives at failed streaming platform Quibi, according to the Daily Telegraph. Sky News Australia host James Morrow deemed the couple utterly shameless and said the new information calls in question the entire Oprah Winfrey interview. Sky News Australia co-host Rita Panneri said new information about the Duke and Duchess of Woke reveals the couple were engaged in talks with video platform Quibi one year before Megshi occurred. She said, it has emerged that they were in negotiations with a video platform to do a commercial deal a full year before Megshi actually happened. These were in early 2019. It exposes the lie they weren't preparing for this exit. They weren't trying to profit from their royal status. It was just they were bullied out of the UK with all of the racism and all of the pressure on him from the media. It's very interesting. All these tidbits about them coming out now. Mr. Morrow responded. Utterly shameless. I sent it. People feel like this has been a stitch up from the very start and it just calls into question every time when people say we have to believe them when they say it is our truth. It looks more and more that this was all this was confected to set up a book deal, a movie deal, more celebrity and more money. Sky News host Rowan Dean said. Lefty lunacy is now of course synonymous with Harry and Meghan. According to the reports, Harry, 36, and Meghan, 39, had held multiple meetings with Quibi, a now defunct video streaming service, from early 2019 until after they quit as working royals. This calls into questions Harry's claim to Oprah the couple did not have a plan when they made the decision to move to the US.